of the biggest threats to our way of life is the way our data is handled and the way it's protected from attack. Politicians in many countries have learned that fighting wars with soldiers who come home in body bags is less and less acceptable to their citizens. Far better to lock some boffins in a room, pass their food under the door, and don't let them see daylight until they've found a way of hacking into the Pentagon or the Ukrainian electricity grid or the Iranian nuclear program. The trouble is, just like the use of our personal data by social media platforms is finally starting to come under some scrutiny, the volume and sophistication of state-sponsored cyber attacks is out of control. We know about Russia hacking the Democrats in the 2016 US election, while China broke into the US Office of Personnel Management and accessed 22 million employee records. Recently, there was even a hacking of FireEye, a US cybersecurity company that exists to help its clients defend themselves from the very attack of which it's been a victim. It seems that existing government agencies simply don't have the people, skills, technology, or processes to deal with these 21st century risks. I'm tempted to agree with Financial Times writer John Thornhill, who suggests that we need a world data organization, a kind of digital Geneva Convention, so that we can govern the physical and virtual worlds as one entity. Perhaps Tim Berners-Lee could be the inaugural Secretary General. How did 2020 work out for you? For most people, it was the strangest year of their lives. The pandemic and the economic fallout from it will scar us for a generation to come. But we have a choice. We can be victims licking our wounds, or we can step away from the crowd and take ownership of our financial future. That's a decision I took 20 years ago when my professional wealth managers lost me £160,000 and then fired me for having too low a net worth. Today, I want to help you take that same journey to financial independence by asking you to join me for a four-part series called The Secrets of Building Long-Term Wealth in the Age of Uncertainty. In these free broadcasts, I will cover the three steps to financial freedom, the main types of assets you should invest in, the financial revolution that's already underway, and how you can pull all these forces together to create your unique long-term wealth plan. If you'd like to join our priority waiting list and be the first to gain access to these broadcasts, please register your interest on this page. Now more than ever, you need to be well informed if you're to make the right decisions for yourself and those you care about. I hope the information I'm going to share in these broadcasts will help you to be on the right side of history as we experience the age of uncertainty. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some previous episodes, click here. But don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes.